Mary anger management. Until injustice has died, rage has to stay. Says the chorus. Actually the measure God uses to determine our love, is simply spoken our rage to evil. He doesn't care about the objects you love, for you can love everything without really caring about it. There was a man singing love songs for his wife every evening, but in the night he cheated on her and wasted all their money to the prostitutes. The intention of love is hate, for the Bible says, love the good, and hate evil. This holy hate cherishes the laws of love and life, guards it in every inch. If you are the head of a family, you are also a judge. Now there are some religious groups who detach themselves from the Bible and the holy laws, saying, they aren't allowed to judge. And yes, some things we better cannot touch, but St. Paul says by the law and the spirit, we need to judge everything. This is your journey in raising the levels of your own protection, your own shields. This is the ultimate way to express yourself into the image God created for you. This touches the red lines of God's heavenly realms, and we need to walk these lines without failing. For Saint Paul also said when you get raged, don't sin. Don't let rage be your tool to control others, or feed your greed. There are many pitfalls at the red lines. Let it be holy rage inside, disciplined and tender, thoughtful and at purpose, for the Lord's rages will burn themselves right into the ego, for even deeper levels of ego they will face. Is there a way to escape ego? Is there a way between overrage and underrage? Is it good to talk about the virtues and tenderness of true rage? By the overrage of Mars and Scorpio, the true meanings of rage were sucked out of people's minds. They weave themselves into our fathers and forefathers, sometimes as a threat. They used our mothers and foremothers, sometimes as a manipulation, by which the true image died. The mirror of rage got out of hands, and we scorned it, we brought it into the deepest dungeons of our minds. It was the great unknown object, we didn't know how to handle. We were scared of it. We tore down our mysterious scorpions, we cut them into pieces and wrapped them into soft blankets. Oh, yes, we loved them, but only if they would stay in their graves. Others went to their graveyards, throwing flowers on their graves, crying, yes, dying, for they didn't know if they were judged righteously. Were they? Who were they? People who were against judging, committed the biggest judge crime in history, they killed the judges. They became the masked judges themselves. I will never be a killer bird, said the crocodile. Then he dived underwater, killed a fish and disappeared, says the chorus. And this is where it is all about. Let me explain to you the tenderness of rage. If rage is uncontrolled, it is illegal. If rage isn't concentrated, it is illegal. There are many forms of rage which are illegal, spiritually seen. The rage which is planted in our hearts by God is a sort of alarm and inner security. It can flow calm through our veins to awaken the white blood cells, the inner immune cells and fluids. This is a world apart, the immunological flora and fauna in our body tissues, nerves and brains. It heads for the lines of awakening in our organs, yes, it is a creative force if it's used in purpose and honesty. It is calm and peaceful if it is profound and wise, but it can look like a wild sea. Chaos is not always chaos, but can be created by a higher force we don't understand yet. We can't see the framework when this arch god is working, we can't detect its lines and order, but we can feel deep in our hearts the beauty of it, and if we watch it at a distance and do research in its files, we will recognize the path of joy we have to go. For it is all for our own understanding that the gods of our underconsciousness have to rage. They rage for our awakening. They rage for our freedom, until the key has been received. This rage is saying, it is enough. And it can run through our veins on our own level of understanding, parallel to the level of the raging gods. It can be controlled, but at times you will find yourself at the back of a giant eagle who is bringing you to places you don't know of. How to control anger. First it is good to know that the bottoms of rage can be found at Mars and Scorpio. They both can be a threat of overrage, 
so we have to tame this animal. The bottom of underage lies in the Sulafat sphere. Sulafat is a star in the Lyra constellation, where also Sheliac and Vega can be found. Sulafat is a planet repressing rage. It is like committing suicide, for if we don't rage at times, our kidneys will get little shocks, our liver and other parts of the digestive system. We lose a lot of important red aura shades, and our inner armies die. If this gets out of hand it can even show up into the body in several sicknesses in this area. Responsibility rages. Where responsibility leaves, false sweetness shows up. It is actually poison, and it is the base ground for a lot of soul singers present day. They sing away our alarms, they sing away the true awakening, it is the paralyzing sting of the wasp. An anger shows up and tells you what is wrong. Now take your time to listen to that guy. He might be true. A good way to find out is to do this little test to yourself. 1. Ask yourself, is this anger pleasing egoistic needs, or is this anger pointing at a general need? In other words, is this anger connected to the strive after a better world, or is it just about myself? 2. Ask yourself, is this anger to control certain people, or is this anger about to give control to nature in its good origin, to serve let's say, Mother Earth? 3. Is this anger against some people personally, or is it against a certain attitude they have which you also see in others? And if it's the attitude, how do you know this attitude is wrong? Take your time to check if this anger is profound and necessary as an energy for action or just a misunderstanding. Sometimes it's good to ask questions first, to yourself and to the persons who are involved, just to make things sure. Sometimes it can be a sign to just help the other out, to have a good conversation. Anger can be a good mediator in these times, when you just feel it as an alarm, as an impulse for action. Our whole reaction system is built on a system of anger, which is nothing personal but just a courage to live your life and make your decisions. Anger is nothing but the force to keep the decisions you don't want to make out of your life. Our whole motorial body mechanism, the ability to move, is built on this energy. It is deeply stored in our muscles, and where this subtle red energy isn't available one is paralyzed or spastic. Anger is nothing but the power to decide, the wheel of the driver. And I'm telling you, my beloved ones, the ones who will keep on repressing or denying their anger are in dangerous zones and they are building inside the possibility of being paralyzed, spastic or in other handicaps in a coming life, or even in this life. Sulafat is a paralyzer, and when the clock strikes there's chance you eat his food. Anger is the power to focus, it is the cry for freedom, the roar of the panther. It is the substance your stomach areas need to be filled with for a good digestion. The wheel of anger is a big wheel, with lots of parts and functions. It can be your friend, but as I said it is also an animal you need to tame. Let your anger be your servant for high purposes. It will make the way for you, if you let this energy stream through your veins. There is no creation without destruction. Shiva, one of the major Hindu gods, carries creation in one hand and destruction in the other hand. With these hands he can transform the earth and its people. He brings the undigestible knots from the brains to the stomach and then the scorpions do their job. If you feel ignorance in your head, the unknown, then you can bring it to your stomach by giving these lame knots to Shiva. He rides on a scorpion and stings every lame substance, he ejects it with anger. For anger lightens up the road and will make you alert. By the spine it will be taken to the stomach areas, for the spine is the conductor of all electrical impulses. If you want to raise up the level of the stomach chakras, stay tuned the coming times and learn how to control, conduct, use and transform your anger instead of repressing it or abusing it. I am your mother Mary, I am Metansia.